Welcome back, beautiful people. It's the haul you don't need, so I did it for you. <laughs> Sephora! Mm, 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 mm. I have prices. We're going to get into it. It's a new mascara on there. So I do a lot of mascara reviews on TikTok. I still have these three, the telescopic from... L'Oreal Paris, Item Beauty, Fenty, and I just scooped up another one. So let's open this bad boy up and see why <laughs> I had to do a haul. And I'm about to do another one because I just got an email. This is how they get you for two times the points. And if you buy Sephora collection, you get five times the points. So um, trying to save up for something I don't want to spend my money on. So how about that? All right, so we have a few things here that they give you a thing. All right, let's do the samples because you can pick two samples. This came ripped. That's not cool. But it's Rare Beauty. So, all right. Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. I love an under eye brightener. I mean, I could probably use any of them three, right? And it would be okay. So, a fresh, radiant look. And a flash creamy weightless formula i like that so it comes in a light light medium 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 tan medium deep and deep i don't know where they get these names i prefer if you use uh food <laughs> i don't know some some brands are pretty creative so that was one of the um free samples I have a whole bunch of samples right here in my face that I have not used to this day. So that's going in that pile just to add to it. The other one was super interesting. Look at how tiny this is. I love mini, but this is pushing the mini envelope. So this is Tom Ford, uh, Boyce Moroccan Eau de Parfum. Uh, it's 0. 0, 0.07 fluid ounces or two mls basically <laughs> two uses so um i want to know like what it smells like let's get the notes right boys morocco okay tom ford is a brand i would not spend my money on um but i'm all for it may roll cane scent notes because this little tiny guy super cute how they tried to recreate the fuller size packaging but um yeah his uh colognes go for way more than my budget wants to do so this is cute i mean you probably get more than two uses out of it but let's see if i'm picking up the notes way before i what am i saying way before all the time uh I don't want to spray it because I don't want to waste it. Okay. Really? Ah, there we go. There we go. Let's air it out. Burnt. Definitely some wood flavor in there. I'm going to say there's like an essence of, um, so Moroccan, I feel like it's very earthy. Wood, fire. All right. What do we, what do we got? So if you have any Tom Ford, let me know. Um, I'm really into scents and getting like the scent notes and stuff. Um, but I really can't put my finger on it. It's it's cool, but I feel like it's definitely leaning more towards um, men inspired. So let's see. Ah, so according to Fragrantica, uh, its main accords are woody. Stop with the light, man. I'll, I'll put up a picture there. Let me just take a picture of this. So, um, 
woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, amber, smoky, warm, spicy. Um, it's a woody, spicy fragrance for women and men. There you go. Uh, came out in tw uh, 2009. So the nose behind this fragrance is Shia Mala My Zone Doe. Okay. According to somebody, um, Tom Ford is a woody, spicy fragrance for men and women, for, uh, featuring uh, vetiver, patchouli, Virginia cedar. I said very woodsy and fiery. Incense. See? Bergamot, which I happen to like. Pink pepper. Didn't smell that. Pepper, cypress, and thuja. Um, that is very interesting. And then here we go with the fragrant notes. I'll also put a screenshot up there so you can see exactly what they're talking about. Let me know. Do you guys like perfume, cologne, scents, and scent notes? Those were my two samples. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. The more you wear it, I'm sure the more the aromatics come off. So anyway, back to my haul. Um, we got... This is the ordinary. I'm trying to get more ordinary things or more ordinary. <laughs> uh, this is a hyaluronic acid, 2% plus B5. Um, it's vegan, 30 mLs. I'm trying to add into my skincare regimen. I love skincare, so I'm getting into it, I'm trying to get down that really nice base. So apparently, you know, for vitamin C to like kick up on your face better this would be a great base. Um, so I am happy I got that. And they're pretty uh, affordable. So $8.50, that was that price. $8.50. So add that to the skincare regimen. And then Glossier. I only have one thing and I got it as a sample, which is this little guy. And this is the um, priming moisturizer, which is really nice. Uh, so this is the Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 35. Also something we all need to add to our regimen. I like it. The yellow and everything, it's 30 mLs. Um, and this was $25, so a little pricey. I did recently get the Super Goop, if you missed that, but I live in Florida, so it's a must to have sunscreen. So let's see how this looks. All right, and it's supposed to be invisible, right? Because nobody wants like that. Oh, yep, yeah. goes away. It's got like a gel type feel. You know, like a little slip, that sunscreen smell that I don't care for. Um, that's why I'm leaning towards the Fenty uh, moisturizer because it has SPF in it and it really smells like baby lotion to me. Um, so it is a water gel transparent face sunscreen. Um, so if you are looking for something that's transparent, doesn't have that white cast or white um, color, so it says apply over your entire face after moisturizer, but before makeup. So there you go. Another option. I try to keep all my um, sunscreen like over here. My other favorite one that like melts right in is the Garnier Green Labs. This has SPF uh, 30, but it also has a moisturizer, a serum, and vitamin C. And then the other one, which I don't know what happened to it. Oh, right here. Elf is the um, Woe Glow, has SPF 30. So this also can be used as a makeup primer, which is great. You know, it's just great to do many things at the same time. So last, but certainly not least, is the new release of LYS's mascara. So this is Lash Confidence. Love the packaging, everything is in the triangle. Uh, so this is an influential black. Um, so it curls, lengths, curls, lengthens, and volumizes. Clean mascara and 
Goodbye, lash curl. Like, get rid of your lash curler, right? Hello, confidently curled lashes. Love it. Um, this was 19 bucks, so not bad. But if you use my code on LYS's uh, website, which is LYS Busy Mama, you save 20%, which is awesome. And I get a little something for it too. So we're going to try this out and add this to my addition. Confidence without compromise. Amazing. Amazing. Look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. Look at that. It's just stunning. The rose gold, everything. So comb the mascara brush through the lash from root to tip. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle side to side to evenly coat lashes for a multi-dimensional multi look. So key ingredients in here, date fruit extract, uh, which has fatty acids and vitamins, okay? Crocus uh, sativus, which is saffron flower extract, avocado oil, and arginine. In case anybody is curious, I'm glad that they listed that. Um, so it says Lash Confidence LYS. I like it. All right, so packaging, A+, plus, different, still able to stand up. Oh, look at the bend on that. All right. So we're going to scoop some in and try this baby out. So wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I like the bend. I feel like it helps. All right. There we go. You know, each of these wands performs differently. And I feel like I'm a newbie when it comes to each mascara. I can see how if you wiggle it like that, definitely get that lash effect. What do we think? Ooh. Yes. I see the separation. Can you guys see the separation? I like it a lot. I'm not using a mirror. So. Uh. All right. So I like it. Let me just show you like Tower Beauty has sort of and Tower Beauty or Tower 28 also has that, but it's like no big spikes. I like the little tiny ones because you can get the bottom lash. Um, also, e.l.f. has that as well, which could probably be a dupe for that one. And e.l.f. is six bucks. Just saying. All right, I'm going to do the other lash over here. And see, it's definitely easier with a mirror. Yeah, so you can like scoop the lashes. For sure. And even like that little crooked tip right there, you can just grab like the end lashes here, spike them, maybe even grab these guys. Better? Or take this side, huh? Yeah! Yeah! I haven't been disappointed with LYS so far. So far, I only have the um, blush, this, and I feel like I have something else of theirs. But let me know, do you like LYS's brand? What have you tried? What have you liked? What have you don't like? Um, I'm loving this. 19 bucks is not bad. Um, in that price range, I have gotten the Give uh, by Gwen Stefani, which is another great one. Love that packaging. It's got the little ball tip at the end. Like that one. It does a great job, but it has more of a spiky. Um, also, the Kai Lash is in that uh, ballpark. But thicker wand, totally different um, type of formula. It's a little drier. 
Then this one, uh, Tower Beauty, I told you about. Lala Beauty, or give them Lala Beauty. I like hers as well. These are the ones that I already have open, but different type of wand. So this one is going to be added to the pile. Just look at it. It's like made for that, you know, the angle. And then the formula is drier. It's not very liquidy, but um, if you can see, like I always wipe off the end, but it, uh, it does have a thicker formula. So I will say that. Do I like it? Yes, I think it did the job. So that is my haul. Let me know what you guys think about Tom Ford, perfume, scent notes, mascaras. Which one do you want to see that I haven't tried? Um, the Ordinary and the sunscreen. See how you could see the glow on there too? Very nice. So this is no glow, glow. I'll be using both of them. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's lots of fun over on this channel. And stay tuned for more, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe.